Hello and welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom and today I've got these two little game hens here that I'm going to cook up in this Ninja Foodie Deluxe. Now I washed them up they were pretty good shape to start with and it said on the uh, wrapper when I got them that it was uh, no giblets in it and the no what any giblets in there. I'm going to cut this little piece off the tail right here off the back end of it. For some reason another K don't like that. So I'll cut it off. Put it over here. Now like I say these are pretty clean. I've already washed them one time. I'm gonna put them in here real quick and rinse them off one more time before I start putting stuff on them. Just to make sure everything. They were like I said they were really pretty clean to start with. There you go. Now I've already done that one there. So now we'll see if I can dry stuff off a little bit here. Okay. Now I'm gonna use salt and pepper on these. I've got a little bit of olive oil here. I'm gonna spray on them so the salt and pepper and spices will stick to them. I've got some of this Lowry's uh, all-purpose chicken seasoning here. We'll put on them. And I've got a little bit of this At McCormick's Italian seasoning, and we'll put on them. So now, next thing I'm going to do is take my little spray bottle here, turn them over on their breast here, and that looks like a feather I missed. And that's so easy to pull out, nothing to it. Now. Spray them down a little bit on this back here. Make sure you get up and under them there like he's giving them a bath or something, you know. Alright, that looks pretty good right there now. Now, the next thing we'll do is put some salt and pepper on here. And then I'm going to take my Lowry's all purpose chicken seasoning here. Put it down pretty good. Now I'm going to get my Italian seasoning here. Put on them pretty good. This is going to be some good chicken, folks. Trust me. Now, I'm going to get a glove on before I can uh, rub that in. That's what I like about these little cheap gloves. You can go ahead and use them like this. And it don't hurt you so bad when you say, well, now I need to pull them off and do something else. Just pull them off and throw them in the trash. Massage. Somebody give me a massage like this, I'd feel much better. <laughs> Alright, now time to roll them over. Right, now, get rid of these gloves here. Okay, now next time I'm going to do it, we'll spray them down a little bit with this olive oil again on this side. Get down in the cavity. Alright, now. I'm going to take a half stick of this Land of Lakes butter here and put in each one of these. Now 
Okay, now like the other side here, and we'll put the pepper and the salt on. chicken seasoning here. And now back to the Italian seasoning here. Now I've got my gloves back on again, so I'm going to give them a rub down. the uh, crisper basket here. See if I can widen up a little bit so you can see. I'm going to put one down in there like that. Slide him over and tuck his wings in so they don't get too burnt. They shouldn't get burnt up. Now Take this one and put them down in the opposite direction. And they make a cozy little fit like that, see? See how they fit together. And so, now the next thing we're going to do, we'll put them down in the Ninja Foodie Deluxe. And we're going to shut the lid. Now the next thing we're going to do is turn on the power and it automatically goes to air crisp and it goes to 390 for 20 minutes. Well I want it on bake roast. And I'm going to leave it on the 375 and I'm going to leave it on the 15. Now I think it's going to take 30 minutes but I'm going to check it with my thermometer after 15 and try it. But then we'll, uh, if it does then we'll put more time on it. So now let's get started with it and we'll hit the start button. And there it goes. While y'all got a chance, join our channel and give us a thumbs up. We sure would appreciate it. Just like that. Thumbs up. <laughs> and thank you to all you people that watches our videos. In all seriousness, we sure do appreciate it. So while that's cooking over here, don't think I'm just standing around doing nothing, you know. You got I've got to clean this cutting board here with this bleach. Get all that chicken juice off there, and then I'm gonna go over my countertop of this lifestyle here. Just keep that in mind when you're uh, cooking poultry and stuff like this. You need to make it really clean when you finish or next time you start something. <coughs> Down to almost 12, 20 seconds now in this first 15 minutes. <clears throat> and I know it's nowhere near done, but I just want to we'll take a look at it and just see what it looks like. Now I'm walking start it right back up and put it right back on 15 more minutes and we'll see what it does then but now let's take a look in here oh yeah they're coming along you hear them just a sizzling down in there so that's looking good let's see if I can get so you can see it a little better Yeah, just like that. So, now we'll shut the lid. And we'll leave it exactly the way it is. 375 for 15 minutes on the bake roast. And hit the start button. 
there it goes again. Now I bet you next time we open this lid after this 15 minutes, it's going to be a lot of difference down in there. So we'll be back. Okay, now we're down under 10 seconds on this second uh, 15 minute cook. We'll fix it. Look down in there and I'm going to take that thermometer and see what it says here. Okay, I know you can hear that sizzling down in there. Let's get up here in the breast, in about the thickest part of the breast. Oh yes, yeah, that hit 170. This one over here, over 170. So these are ready to come out of here. So, next thing I'm going to do is turn the pot around a little bit so I can get a better hold on them. And take them out and we'll take a look at them. Okay, now let me see if I can get one of these out of here without burning myself. Oh, yeah, just like that. Now, set the other plate over here and get Kay's out. Dripping, dripping. Alright, don't those look good? Now, next thing we'll do is get over here so we can cut into them a little bit. Let it sit here for just three or four minutes, but you can still see the smoke coming off of it. And we'll see if I can. Yeah, just look that. See that leg, the way it comes out of there? Look at that. Now, you know that's completely done. And it's hot. And it's really hot. So, next time we'll do is get me a fork and get a little taste of it. Things tearing apart on me here. See that? That looks good. Except for the bone. Well, I'll tell you right now, you go out have to try one of these and fix it exactly like I fixed this one. Skin is good and crispy. The meat is good and tender. And so, now here's Kay's plate. She's got a little hen on there. We've got these cheesy pota uh, potatoes and onions here. And so, that's going to make us a good meal. And so, I hope you enjoyed watching our little video as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And I hope you come back and see us real soon and watch more of our videos because we sort of enjoy making them. And so, until next time, y'all have a real good and safe day. And if you can, give us a thumbs up and join our channel. So until next time, goodbye now.